Hi, this is Phil from Advanced Technical Services. Another short tutorial on Magitech version 4 software. Uh, today we're going to start um, logging with some data loggers. So, what we need to do is we need to go to device. Um, we've got no data loggers uh, connected, so let's put a data logger in the cradle. And Magitech's picked up that we've got a temperature sensor in there. So we'll click on device and we can go quick start, which starts the recording process um, straight away. And now you'll see the status of the data logger is now running and recording. Uh, we'll stop that for now. The other way we could do it is if we've got. Um, we can have custom start where we can set a start and a stop and the recording interval um, and we can have a delayed start and um, a delayed stop method uh, so that's quite useful that one you've got a little bit more control over what's going on uh, we'll go back to device batch start is where we want to have the same thing for multiple loggers so we'll have a delay for start these at five zero give me a couple of minutes to sort my time out and we'll carry on going so we'll hit start automatically settings to the device for all types of devices high temp okay so it's starting that. We'll put the next one in. Wait for Magitech to identify the next logger, which it's found. Starting device, and that device is started. one in. And it's found the third one and it's starting it. And that one started. We can now stop and close the batch and go to the device and if we had a pressure sensor which I've lost we could put that in right now so now that we've got the devices um, recording I'm going to pause the video I'm back for two seconds I've just found my pressure dogger so we can go device and I'll put it in the cradle Wait for Magitech to uh, identify it. It's found it. Device. And we'll do a quick start on this one. And it's now running. Go put them in an autoclave and um, gather your data. Once you've finished the cycle um, I always stop them um, which stops the data loggers from recording which keeps the number of um, the data down um, and I think increases the battery life. Um, so once you've done it we'll go to device and we'll just go stop. You don't have to download the data at this point but it's always a good idea to um, I always stop the devices um, these one, other ones haven't started recording yet, so the status will probably be waiting to start. Which it is. So, we could st stop those. We can't because it hasn't even started. There you go. If 
Okay, the device selected. We can stop it. You just have to have the device selected down here. He's a pain in the bump, that one. 